One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Oh, Bad, I am okay. way quieter. One, two, one, two. How are you that loud? I think it's the bass in my voice. Bloody testosterone. So I need to be a lot lower. I'm your dad <laughs> now. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what's all this then? I'm Caitlin Bell. Well, I'm Gary Bush. <laughs> and this is Queers Gone By, the show we talk about nostalgic film, TV, and snacks. Uh, that's just exhausting. How do people do that? I, I don't know. And try to work out if that's what made us queer. Uh, I'm today. Uh, Radio 1, we are available. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a recording of a BBC Radio 4 show the other day. You did? I did, yes, thank you. Can you Sarah, disclose? Sarah Keyworth. Oh, yes. Uh, they were very good. She's disclosing. Mm. <laughs> Watch out, fellas. <laughs> She's disclosing. Oh, it's all over uh, the floor. <laughs> Miriam. <laughs> Miriam. Can you get a mop, please? <laughs> oh, poor Miriam. Oh, Miriam. Uh, oh, <laughs> for goodness sake. <laughs> um, yes, and. Yes, and. Improv. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah Keyworth. It was a very good show. Um, they spoke about going swimming. Yeah. As a non-binary person. Yes. And I've recently just started going swimming in my local baths. Look. It's one pound on a weekday. That's weekday so afternoon. good. Call me Martin Lewis. All right. <laughs> Call me Martin Lewis. <laughs> Martin. Thank you. Call me Martin Lewis. <laughs> oh. Is he? I don't know. 0792. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they talked about how um, going swimming is quite a gender euphoric thing mm-hmm. because you just feel like a seal. Oh. And- a seal isn't a man and a seal isn't a woman. Mm. So listen out when it comes out in like August or something. I've got a good sneak peek of it. Very good. Yeah. Very lovely time. Um, but yeah, they were doing a Radio 4 show mm-hmm. and it was just them in a microphone and then a man in the corner on a laptop. It didn't feel very high tech. We and could do that. Yeah, they have to stop because one of them like um, cycling rickshaws with <laughs> that plays pop music went past. And they were like, what? do it again, Sarah. Were you outside? No, they were just, it was 21 Soho. Oh, okay. Which I thought would not just have a a window to the world. No, it does, yeah. It is literally basically on the street. Yeah. Um, And then a big um, rubbish truck (gasps) came past. I had to stop for that. Poor Sarah. The AC was very loud. (sighs) Luckily for everyone here, we don't have AC. We're going (sighs) to melt. But we do have nostalgic snacks. Yes. I'm um, confused about this. So these are these are the crisps. I texted you, be like, I'm going to the big Tesco to get those new crisps. I was like, I. You didn't even ask. You, didn't, you, know, you, you, you know better. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lovely. ASMR. The M in ASMR stands for Monster Munch. So they've done a triple whammy of crisp flavored crisps. No one needed this collab. N- no, just buy Monster Munch. Yeah. They're just like you know the Walker's crisps flavored like other Walker's crisps. I don't need this. Well, you're about to bloody try it. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got the three. We've got the Monster Munch, the Watsits, and the Doritos. Now, I do love a Chili Heat Wave Doritos. Should we put? Should we save them till last? Okay, sure. What oh, are your favourite? Uh, it might favorites. be the Chili Heat Wave Doritos. I think we should go with Watsits with an open palate. Okay. Because yeah. I think that's going to be a very distinctive taste. Should we? We'll, yeah. we'll lean back and crunch you because the... <laughs> I'm very warm and sweaty and a slippery hand. I'm a seal. Yeah. With that context. Have a sniff. It doesn't smell like what's it? Sorry, with that context. I was wondering while we're doing while we're talking about crisps, should we also give the listeners oh a little one good um some insight into how we rage quit this episode last week? <laughs> <laughs> it was just too hot. It was for too this hot. Kangaroo bullshit that'll make sense later. We were yeah we were going to record a double whammy of fairly your parents fairly your parents and this yeah and we were halfway through just, this and we were like you stood up and we're like no I was, it's, t- it's too hot yeah we've miriam is fucking about she's yeah. ruined my flat mm-hmm. i can't I, I, was, I can't do this anymore mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and the microphones are garbage but hopefully i got a new you got a new microphone yes so hopefully it's all right mm-hmm. i've not heard any fuzzing in my head we've got headphones as well yeah we should at some point when we film these we'll show you how bloody high tech we are mm. in my craft room covered in jeans yes. i've been cutting up a lot of jeans to make an outfit y2k <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, so mirror, mirror, you brought a baby <laughs> <laughs> right should we try a what's cheers. it cheers i'm gonna lean back and oh crunch. yeah we should hang on uh, under the table it tastes like a cheesy crisp yeah that's not what's it 
No, that tastes nothing like a Watsit. I think that's more towards a Quave than a Watsit. You're bloody right, it is. Fuck you, Walkers. We'll try Monster Munch. Yeah. <laughs> they then. do the munch. They do the monster munch. Okay, smell that. It does smell a bit like pickled onion. Oh, I quite like that. But I don't think it's going to have the same getting stuck in your teeth kind I of. I would argue part of the joy of a monster munch is the texture. Yeah, picking it out of your teeth. Yeah. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Cheers. See, now. I'm on board. That's a good one. Mm. It's because it is a pickled onion flavour Walker's crisps, which they already do. Do they? It's like a lime green packet. Oh. Rare find. What's the lime green knickknack? L- L- Scampi and lime? Oh. Mm. Mm. What's your favourite knickknack? Uh, the, the regular hot one. What? The regular. Ribbon and saucy or nice and spicy? Nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. I like that's rib- the regular one, that's right? That's the, the orange one. Yeah, it's the one yeah. that is always around. I like ribbon saucy because it's purple. Sure we know how do. I feel about purple. You love purple. Um, right. Could it be a two out of three ain't bad situation? R.I.P. Meatloaf. <laughs> um, you should have got the vaccine. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you should. I'm not wrong. Yeah. Um, we're going to try the chilly heat waves. Yeah. You're not going to like get death threats from the meat loafers are you it doesn't it doesn't smell i'm not my olfactory senses aren't aren't that's disappointing it's not imbuing me with confidence cheers cheers don't bother what the sweet hell is that mm. i would argue get a what's it a monster munch and a dorito and put put them together what, what have you got, got? bibbity bobbity boo Bullshit. <laughs> Bibbity bobbity bullshit. Yes. No, that's that's disappointing. But God loves a trier. Yes. And all dogs go to heaven. So I'll be all right. Uh. <laughs> Should we tell her what we're talking about? Yeah. I alluded to it earlier. We put this onto social media. Yeah. As a concept because it's kind of pridey. It's the one that won. And you know what pride comes well, no. before? <laughs> a fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, this didn't win. What well, we had three options. We had this. We had hotchpotch house. Yes, and we had what the fuck are you guys talking about? And uh, the clear winner. What the fuck are you guys talking about? But we couldn't do that. We can just sit here and eat crisps for an episode. <laughs> well, we could. We, we could. would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next week when we run out of things to talk about for Rainbow. Um, no, this is just the last of the Rainbow, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we are doing Canadian Nightmare. <laughs> Polka dot, dot shorts. shorts. I said polka dot then. Oh, fancy. Polka dot. Poker. I hardly know and her. Victoria Corin Mitchell. Ah. 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 I mean, have you seen her playing poker? No. Is it fit? Yep. Yes. Apparently she's not the nicest person. No. And I don't care. Yeah. I mean, she plays poker with like dickhead sunglasses on. Yes. Yes. I want her to be nasty, <laughs> mean, horrible. <laughs> she's not around nasty, the face and make me do a connecting wall. She's just a, she's just a celebrity, isn't she? Yeah. That's what we've heard. Allegedly. Allegedly. Miriam, can you fact check, please? She hates her. Miriam got <laughs> slapped in the face by Victoria Corin Mitchell. <laughs> Steve Martin and Victoria Corin Mitchell. They have more in common than you think. <laughs> so yeah, this is, um, we rage quit this last week. Yep. Um, and I was wondering if it was just the heat that was making us hallucinate. Yep. Turns out. This is what it, this is your life, Caitlin. <laughs> this needs to be studied. <laughs> this is an absolute mess it's very canadian oh sure okay they put gravy on cheesy chips mm. it's canadian uh, <laughs> i don't know and northern <laughs> um if you've not seen it it's quite difficult to explain if you've never seen it um well you explain it because you're the one who really wanted to do this uh, as is <laughs> this the way, is your often. fault <laughs> this is i did this <laughs> Next week is something I have been clamouring for. Mm, for and I've time. never seen. Yeah. So, um, mm-hmm. um, with a one and a two mm-hmm. and a one and a two and a pokeroo. Mm-hmm. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot shorts. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot shorts. So there's a biological experiment that went <laughs> wrong. <laughs> we got Bear. Yes. Who's a little teddy bear. Little. Big, 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 big. boy. A man inside a bear. Yes. <laughs> the Revenant. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. We've got Bibble, who is a collection of cloth and concepts. He's a mop head. A mop head with ideas above its station. <laughs> yes, surely. Uh, we've got Marigold. 
I have much to say about Marigold. Marigold, who's a little doll. Mm-hmm. She's a doll. She's a doll. The doll's she... a darling. She is. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a fixed painted on smile. And she's yeah. jingle jangling around like an absolute bellend. I hate her. Sorry. That smock, that bucket hat. She's in Dalston right now buying a seven pound latte. <laughs> uh, we've got Humpty. Yeah. And um, Dumpty. Humpty, Dumpty. I mean, we what... need both. <laughs> Once you've seen one Humpty, yeah. you've seen the Dumpty. They could have made Dumpty the surname. They're little egg boys. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> yeah. They, they're meant to be like children's toys, I believe. Oh. Because you've got a teddy bear, you've got a doll. Oh, I see. You've got see. like a, a Humpty Dumpty toy. And then... <laughs> the most famous children's toy of all. A classic. If you're drawing a picture of a nursery, you're drawing a picture of Pokeroo. Yeah. <sighs> Pokeroo. A person it's essentially a person with a very long uh what was her name? Neck. Um Vivacious's headpiece. Ornacia. A very long Ornacia. Yes. And it's a green kangaroo, we are we are to assume. Yeah, but it's who's polka dotty. Yeah. And is obsessed with polka dots. Mm-hmm. Um I was convinced as a child that this was a lesbian. Ah. Oh. Because um I knew two lesbians. Yes. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. And my sibling's godmother. You had a... Oh my god. I would have killed for a lesbian godmother. I didn't have and a lesbian I did. godmother as well. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Um, and... Oh no, there's a lesbian godmother's partner or something. Spoke in that kind of throaty way that Rosie O'Donnell does. Like that. It's a bit Kermit the Froggy. <laughs> it's a bit like that. Is this your Rosie O'Donnell impression? But Rosie O'Donnell has that as well. Oh. I've never noticed that. She does. <laughs> and Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I get you. Isn't that got, just American? They've got something lodged in their throat. They've got nothing to poke it out with. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you can still... You can still suck dick as a lesbian. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And you should. Yeah. Or a strap on. Happy you pride. Do, do what you want. Have you been watching Anne Just Like That? What is that? It's the Sex and the City sequel. Oh, no. But I did watch The Ultimatum, which we haven't talked about on this podcast. It is the worst lesbians doing the worst things. And it is the best. Mm. Mm. But on Just Like That, mm. Miranda yes. is now with a non-binary person, <gasps> Sarah Ramirez. Sarah Ramirez. Ah! Tony winner. Oh! They're on it. I love that. You will hate them. Oh. <laughs> they are a stand-up. And they do, their closing joke that you see of their set, no. they're like, oh, I'm so lazy now. I live in LA. I got an Uber from my bathroom to my bedroom. Anyway, that's my time. No. They are meant to be like the most successful comedian. Like this is their Netflix special. Oh my God. They've got a podcast, but that doesn't say Are they on RuPaul's Drag Race? Because that is, <laughs> that's a roast <laughs> level. That's, that would, yeah, you'd win that. Yeah. Far and away. <laughs> but, um. Miranda mm-hmm. is working out how to use a strap on in the first episode of series two. Good for her. Mm. You see a lot of Miranda. For the gays. She, she the gays and lays. She climbs, no, it's no. Oh no. Samantha's for the gays. And she's not in it. Oh. Oh, I mean for the weird gays. Yeah. They love Miranda, I've heard. I've never seen it. I've never seen actual sex in the city, but I'm In being... fact, I lie. My one of my housemates at uni sat me down and was like, This is my favourite programme ever and you're going to love it. Hate that. I hate when someone tells me I'm going to love something. No, I'm not. You don't, <laughs> don't know me at me all. Don't tell me how to feel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and she sat me down, and it was fully an episode where someone gets, like, assaulted. Yeah. She was like, it was the 90s. Is it the 90s? Early 2000s? Yeah. Whenever. And I was like, oh, it's still sexual assault, though, isn't it? Mm. 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 Speaking of feeling like we've been assaulted <laughs> in the 90s. <laughs> this radioactive kangaroo. Pokeroo. Fuck it. Hello, we all. This put the fear of God into me. As it should. This because, was against God. Yes. But it, I don't know, I keep feeling that we're a couple years away from a Marvel film being like, and then he was bitten by a radioactive pokeroo. Yeah, post credit scene. Yes. They're going to flash up pokeroo exactly. and all the comic nerds are going to be like, oh. <laughs> well, you, you the only I'm person. I'm not a comic nerd. How no, dare you? You would know the reference. I would know pokeroo. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, pokeroo is now in the Marvel universe. And which is worse, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Both. To be a comic book nerd or to know Pokeroo. To know a lot about children. <laughs> <laughs> to love another person is to see the face of Pokeroo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we watched a couple of episodes purely based on the titles. Yes. Episode number one. Pardon, Pardon my, my garden. garden. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dollar <laughs> for every time I said, Pardon my garden. Mm-hmm. 
You don't have to apologise for it. I'd be in it. debt. You don't? Yeah, people owe me. <laughs> no, I owe... I don't know where I've gone with that metaphor. <laughs> Again, it's very warm in my craft room. Marigold. This fussy queer. She's doing a garden in a bucket hat. Catch her at Mighty Hoopla. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Off her face on cat. I will say, the barnet is lank. <laughs> lank. <laughs> I don't know what any of those words mean. Lank. What's lank? Like... I know leng. No, lank. No. Bring that lank. It's like... It was never here, but... <laughs> <laughs> What happened to Lank? Like, <laughs> whatever happened? Like to thin Lank. and like just like there's no volume in that hair. Is it because her hair's made of wool? Well, yeah. Because she's a doll. I don't know. She's wearing a hat to cover it, so surely. She's got surely. shame. Yeah, shame exactly. Month. Happy shame month. That's July. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Gluttony, wrath, envy. That's November. Why? Christmas is December. Oh. <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about No me neither Humpty I've, Oh I should specify I've just done a brunch And I've had a couple of white wine spritzers I'm having the mojito to catch up Because we, like we didn't like the Prosecco at the brunch So we had said can we have a white wine with some soda water in That's a Prosecco Far, and a, far away the same Yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Humpty loves gardening as well <clears throat> This tasteless cretin I hated Humpty Wow We're Humpty is trying his best. I don't like it. <laughs> no one here has tried no. their best. No. And no! Marigold! She is efficient. She's refusing to work with others. Neurodivergent queen. <laughs> and she's demanding unpaid labour. <laughs> no, that's Pokeroo. That's Pokeroo. Sorry, Pokeroo so, yeah. is demanding unpaid labour. He's like, yeah, you two can like, do, renovate my, my garden. garden. Yeah. Um, and Pokeroo wants them to work together. They've yeah. never worked together before. It's like when BuzzFeed tries to do like a queer special and it's like these people and it's like Miriam and Troy Savannah. Like, <laughs> like do you know what I mean? I would watch it. Didn't we love how Miriam was on Vogue? Yes. yes. Oh, we, we did. We recorded it and mm-hmm. days later, oh. you're welcome, Miriam. Trendsetters. Miriam, she, you could I, thank us. I thought she would have brought ice lollies for the whole team. Nothing. She didn't. Bastard. <sighs> Horrible. Fine. Anyway. They don't pay her, so... <laughs> <laughs> Much like Pokeroo. Yeah. Um, they each bring separate things to put on the patio. Yeah. There's like a lot of discombobulation, yes. incoherence going on between mm-hmm. the two of them. Um, Marigold puts some flowers out and some lovely pots. Lovely pots. Lo- beautiful pots. And some lovely cream, I think, roses. Yeah. This was tasteful, chic. Glamour. Mm. Humpty arrives. None He's of the like, true beauties are there. <laughs> They said, Marigold, don't go. <laughs> don't go, Marigold. Uh, uh, Humpty arrives and is like, these pots are gorgeous. These flowers, flops. So he changes them for yeah. his own flowers. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, these pots are perfect. Better get rid of these ugly flowers. He's so rude. So rude, but definitely a cis gay man. Yes. Egg. A, 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 egg? A, a, he's an egg. What's it got to do with cis gay man? Well, he's Humpty Dumpty, isn't he? He's an egg. I don't know what I you're saying. I think we should crack open more cis gay men. <laughs> Boil them alive. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> Dip your toast in a cis gay man. <laughs> That's coming at the end. <laughs> Keep dipping your toast dipping in a cis gay yes. man. <laughs> we will absolutely have forgotten about it by the time we get to episode mm-hmm. two, because I have a lot to say about episode two. Um, Marigold's got this fixed horrid smile of a little sewn on smiley lady mm. she's not having a nice time don't no, make her smile not. it's not fair um she brings out pokeroo to surprise him yes and surprises herself by seeing that humpty has also changed the flowers <gasps> humpty's like well we're working together we're doing a collaboration your pots my plants yeah but he didn't say any of that where's the communication he didn't say do you want to do the pots i'll do the plants yeah no, he didn't say that at all to be fair um humpty put her favorite flowers on the compost heap yeah very final humpty yes Rude. Rude. Horrible. Horrible egg. Mm-hmm. Um, Marigold wants to know what kind of plants that Humpty's brought in case they're poisonous. She's like, I've got a big book of flowers. Let's have a look. I was like, poisonous? Please say that this ends with like, pokeroo, all four limbs on the, like in the air. Splayed. And Humpty and Marigold driving off into the sunset like Thelma <laughs> and Louise. <laughs> off a cliff. Like the Merge Mansion's grandma. What? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you know Merge Mansion's? No. 
it's an app it's a game okay where you merge things they've got adverts and they've spent a fuck ton of money on these adverts um well it hasn't worked pedro pascal is oh. an investigator investigating the mansions and the merging that's been going on what and playing the grandma who's definitely killed and will again did you dream this no no this is real playing the grandma oscar winner kathy bates what and she's like written on her hand he's still alive as she presses it up against the police car window as she drives away and her daughter's like i've got to do the merge mansion right the gays will know the i cis- am gay the cis gay men's will oh, know. okay <laughs> i don't want to claim myself as one of you no because i'm weird in the brain there's something wrong with me psychologically <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come, I'm going to come to your birthday party. <laughs> I'm bringing Mark, he's my gynecologist. <laughs> it's a silly little homosexual on TikTok. Yeah, obsessed with him. He's great. Yeah. Um, They're like, let's check in case it's poisonous. And Humpty's like, no, let's do it later. Yeah. Kill him. Yeah. Kill that pokeroo. Yes, he's right. please. Yes, please, please, God. Show me where he's wrong. <laughs> They make Pokeroo sit inside while they fix the garden. Yeah. Um, what homosexual <laughs> was writing this script? He's got a Mondrian hanging in the background. Yep. Um, and he's there he's singing, Tonight, tonight, <laughs> I'll see my love tonight. I mean, <laughs> but what are the references? Because... He reads they, a book. They make a Dostoevsky reference. The brothers Pokeroozov. <laughs> Pokeroozov. What was... Was it Brothers... Co- Karamazov. Karamazov. Was it doing the rounds in 1996? <laughs> Had a big... Came back in a big way. Big deal. <laughs> also, sorry, while we're on the book, so basically the, the whole gist is they, they are arguing for so long. There's a whole montage po- of things yeah. that he's doing. Yeah. The first thing Pokeru does is read this book and he struggles to pick it up. What are the dimensions of it? What If it's this was Top book. Trumps, <laughs> what, what's the strength on that kangaroo? A kangaroo can punch a man. A kangaroo could kick someone in the face. Yeah. And I would like it to. And you're telling me it can't pick, can't up, pick a book. up a book. Flop. Fact check. <laughs> Miriam. Fake new. <laughs> Miriam. Miriam, give us kangaroo top trumps, please. Pokeroo cancels. <laughs> I did have a, like a National Geographic top trumps. Did you? I had all the top trumps. That sounds great. I, I had, had Lord of the Rings. I had, I had a lot of, of Doctor Who's. I had Doctor Who. I'd, I'll admit I did have a lot of Harry Potters. I had a couple. Um, Simpsons, oh. Treehouse of Horror, Simpsons, Glow in the Dark. <gasps> My friend had those coveted. Mm. Roll Dahl, sorry. Uh. Um, <laughs> horrible histories <gasps> that you had a QR code that you held up to a webcam. That's right, I had a webcam. Jesus uh, Christ! And it did like VR things. Wow. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, and I also had the Beano. Your best time was truly like ages five to twelve it literally was no, yeah. 11 because i went to went to secondary school uh, okay 11, so we'll, we'll cut that off there okay. <laughs> i definitely peaked in june 2007 okay <laughs> i was the lead in the school play but i wasn't the lead what was I the was... play what's the play so the play was called uncle crumble's mad machine <laughs> <laughs> uncle crumble's mad machine can take you where you've never been uncle crumble's crazy mad machine wow da, 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 da. Um, it was about a time travelling machine. Were you Uncle Crumble or were you the machine? No, 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 no. This is, this is a difficult thing for me to talk about, actually. Um, so there was four children. Mm-hmm. Um, Jenny, you're a wet weed. Sorry? Jenny, you're a wet weed. Oh, um, that's not nice. She was just miserable the whole time. She's like, okay. I don't want to time travel. Mm-hmm. Fuck off, Jenny. What? Um, it was um, someone, uh, Mark, some other girl mm-hmm. who fancied Mark, and... Um, someone else. Uh, <laughs> and my friend got cast as the one that fancied Mark. She's mm-hmm. like my best friend at school. Yeah. And everyone thought I should be Mark because I was the best friend with her. And it was also the lead role. But mm-hmm. no, 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 no. I didn't get it. <clears throat> no. I got not the lead role. They were they went to back in time to Roman times. Okay. Um, they went somewhere else. Flop. Um, oh hippies. I went to hippies in the nineteen sixties. Lovely. And they went to the future. With the iconic robot teacher, Tin Face. That was me. Uh-huh. My, when I tell you, my dad fucking stepped up. 
Really? Oh my god. He He's made not the a stepdad, he's the dad that stepped up. Step up to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's Channing Tatum. And um, he made the most spectacular costume. What? He had to make it? We didn't have to. Oh. But he's the dad that stepped up. He chose to. He's also not my stepdad, he's my biological father. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get so many letters about that uh, yes <laughs> thank god you clarified <laughs> um i will probably find a Actually, photo from your mum your mum listens my mum will be like why you d- you've made your dad cry oh my dad didn't answer the phone when i phoned him on father's day <laughs> what does that say you're not a great conversationalist well thank you for listening to kids gone by <laughs> uh, <laughs> i've been kate butch <laughs> <laughs> apparently i've got shit chat you know when you do like a Facebook audio call and it's like, rate the quality of your call. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, they are really boring, one star. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got a really fucking great Uncle Crumble Man Machine. I, I'm going to find the picture. Sorry, is Uncle Crumble Man Machine a, a known... Why no, am I asking it you? One of those, it was one of those ones where like you bought the script and you got a CD of backing tracks and a CD of like a middle-aged woman singing the song so you could sing along with it. Right. Um, there were lots of them. Most of the time though, in my school, it was like, proper like school-based ones mm-hmm. there was like a song about infants song yeah. about sports day mm-hmm. song about health and safety yeah. dinner ladies that kind of thing mm-hmm. but the whimsy of uncle crumble's man machine was rare and unique in burbage primary school i've just had a flashback tell me so i remember the first thing i was in at school that was like a like not a nativity that was like a, a play yes was called the seven-sided dice and I and it was I think it was a bit clue oh nice because I played Colonel Mustard <gasps> queer drag king praxis yes excellent um I remember someone stole my costume who um, pulled them out my friend who was I want to say understudy did we have understudies you might have gone to a posher school than I no we did I mean oh I think I think we shared the role I think one night she did it one night I did ah. it she stole my costume very upsetting. I remember we did a Lion King assembly. Oh, in year four, I was Zazu, that. obviously. Of course you were. And my friend, who I thought was my friend at the time, called me in the toilets and was like, "You stole my part." What? And I was like, "I'm sorry that I auditioned better, and also I am perfect to play Zazu." You are. Yeah, I'll do it on the West End if they ask. Have they? No. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> the night is young. <laughs> the show has been on for only twenty-five years. <laughs> They might get desperate. <laughs> you never know. John Oliver might be busy. <laughs> exactly. Anyway. Rowan Atkinson might do something terrible. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Miriam. Miriam. Oh, she was, in, she was in Blackadder with him. She won't say a bad word oh. against him. Miriam. Not very principled, Miriam. Get a backbone, Miriam. <laughs> anyway. Um, Pokeroo opens the book of the brothers Pokemaroots of. Pokeroomers of. And the evidence falls out. What was this? This is the conceit of the show. I don't know if we're supposed to be watching it, hoping to spot them and think, oh, they're going to be here. But he opens the book and out falls a great big pair of polka dot shorts. How did they get there? His pants. His big bloody undercrackers. You sick fuck. What's he? I saw a skid mark on him. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing with the the brother's poker? Stop putting your pants in a book. You fucking disgusting abomination. Awful. You should be on a list, mate. Mm. He finishes the book. He makes a dinner. Some makes enchanted dessert. dinner. He makes an apple Gay. pie. He makes an apple pie. He's, just, he's got loads of time because they're still going with the garden. Yes. That's the joke here. He paints a masterpiece, the poker Lisa. The poker Lisa. <laughs> it's, it's camp, to be fair. Does yes. a massive crossword. Oh, I loved it. Um, I was like, I, I appreciate the comedy moments. Yes. And it's not often we'll say that about a children's TV show that's made in the 90s by Canadians. We surely won't. <laughs> Mark your calendars. Yep. We've said it. There was some comedy For moments. For tonight was the night. <laughs> and that pokeroo. <laughs> just so you will know. And, and your, your bibble will one day know. What's a, what's a kangaroo? Joey. Poker Joey. And your Joey's Joey <laughs> will know. That was the night. That a Canadian made a joke in the 90s. <laughs> It's a little bit Jimbo, isn't it? This whole thing. Yes. And I do mean that in a bad way. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> um, they finally show him the garden. I'm like, what were you doing for hours? You put some different plants in these 
pots. These same the pots haven't moved. Nothing's moved. You haven't laid down some turf. Well, something's changed. What? Oh, there's no there's no flowers on the plants. Fuck. Because they accidentally planted bibblage. Bibblage. Which Bibbles loved to eat. Oh, because he wanted to give Bibble a snack, but they were fucking about so yeah. long. Bibble escaped and ate all of the plants. Good, honestly, good for him. Yeah. And yeah. Humpty's like, I'm really sorry for not looking in the book beforehand to see what the plants were that we were planting. Correct. You fucked up. It's growth that he's apologised. Accountability. Yes. Not like the next fucking episode. How many cis gay men eggs do you know that would apologise? None. None at all. None, not at all. Um, Pokeru is like, it's super fine. I got some lovely plant pots. I got some unpaid labour. Yeah. And Bibble got a snack. So, everyone's a winner. Fuck this kangaroo, honestly. Apart from, apart from Marigold, interesting. Yeah, she doesn't even get a say in it. Nothing. No. Bless her. <laughs> so we watched episode two. Honey, honey Jumblies! <laughs> Is your honey jumblian? Tough honey jumblies. Tough country pancakes, daddy. Have we? I think, if we've not discussed the man in the white suit, the play starring Stephen Mangan. And Cara Toynton. Uh, oh, sorry, crucially Cara Toynton. <laughs> yes. Something's gone wrong. Something's amiss. It, t- scroll back through the past. All you need to know. Fucking many episodes we've is done. Cara Toynton says, "Tough country pancakes, daddy." And the it's... rest of it, I can't remember. Yeah, best thing I've ever heard. We say it all the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but tough honey jumblies, daddy. Bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> um, Pokeru is trying to train Bibble to do something. Yeah. And Bear, who's, I was like, I can't wait for Bear to speak. Bear's accent has stuck with me throughout the years. Is Bear played by someone famous? It was really familiar. Oh, I don't... He sounds a bit like Will Arnett. Oh, maybe that's it. I don't know. But I don't think it is. Uh, but he's like, Hello, I'm Bear. And he talks like this. <laughs> and he's like, um, uh, oh. Coincidence? I think not. He's that, got that um, he's got aspirations of Winnie the Pooh and he's nothing of the sort. <laughs> he's not even got a t-shirt on. No, but he keeps going about how he really loves honey. To be fair, I fucking love I honey. I fucking love honey. To- uh, this morning, I had toast with uh, some... Vegan flora, whatever it's called, and honey. Vitalite. Yes. Vitalite. So I'm a hypocrite, I suppose. Well, I mean, I really. I mean, w- honestly. If you if you pull in <sighs> pulling straws, clutching straws at honey, Put glue yourself to a train. Oh right, okay. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. If you're that passionate about it, do something. Yeah, don't yeah. go at me. Glue yourself to a matalan. I save bees. Do you save bees? I think the fuck not. I really want a hive with a tap on it. Oh, love that! But I don't have a garden. I got my girlfriend for their birthday, um, a little, a little like f- f- mini bee flask that you put honey water in, and Stop we go around it. saving bees. That's so gay. So gay. I love it. Yeah. I like a bee bomb. Oh, what's that? Um, it's like a little clay pellet full of seeds of wildflowers, and you just like throw it in a meadow Ooh, or in a I love person's that. garden, and then wildflowers grow, and the bees love it. Oh, ah, bees, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, save the bees. Um, I, I've recently had honey because I recently got an espresso machine. Oh, honey. I'd do, do anything, anything for you. you. Miss Honey, Miss Honey. <laughs> That's um, Beyonce. Oh. Someone I know kept doing that and I was like, do you mean like Matilda? Yeah, I assume that was what you're talking is about. My house. Hmm. This is my house. Uh, an espresso machine. Oh, Miss Honey is in Honey Balenciaga. Probably. She's in um, Beyonce's dance dancers I see That's why are all these women married um th- i see yes uh i have a little coffee why is beyonce married to that man to that m- well she was groomed we don't have time to get to that <laughs> we don't have time just like celine dion anyway what celine do you know about celine dion no celine dion's husband was like 30 years older than her um knew her since she was like 12 <gasps> waited until the night she won the eurovision song contest when she'd like just freshly turned either 16 or 18, I'm not sure. I, I don't want this to be my one question. She but... did it for Switzerland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ne parte pas sans moi. Oui. Ne pas sans moi. Ah. Da, 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 da. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Um, shall we go for it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then had sex with her on the night that she won Eurovision for the first time. Took a virginity. What I didn't. The? No, I don't want that. No. It's not virginity is a stupid concept. Yes, had sex with her for the first time, um, and then have you not watched Catherine Ryan's Netflix special? It's all—it's literally all about Celine Dion and Hamilton. 
I've watched the Hamilton bit. I see. Well, the, the rest I've of it is Celine Dion. Oh, okay. About how she was groomed. Fuck. Well, he's dead now, so. Good. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bear. He's holding a honey jumbly baking contest. Listeners, if you're <laughs> listening, hoping to find out what a honey jumbly <laughs> is, you're in the wrong place. And there's a, there's a whole bit where he keeps going to people and saying, it's a honey jubbly baking contest. And they're like, what's a honey jubbly? And he says, oh, it's meant to say I spilled honey the jumbly. And we're like, thank God you clarified. Yeah. No idea. Fat lot uses berries. <laughs> and he's like, it's being held at Pokeroo's house. And Pokeroo's like, what? Um, Fucking chancer. No, Pokeroo is like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess if the council says so. <laughs> <laughs> the honey jumbly council. Yeah. Horrible. He tells Marigold too that they're yes. happening. Um, there's a whole like to do in a hoo ha, of like he puts is they've got it's like the Bake Off. Yes. Have we talked about the Bake Off musical? Surely we, mu- but maybe it was before we started recording, so it perhaps was. not. We went to see the Bake Off musical. Changed my life. Mainly to see friend of the pod, Anna Hailed Mum. Yes. <laughs> it's not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see Anna, a friend of the pod, Anna Hale. Hi, Anna mm-hmm. Hale. Hi, Anna um, Hale. She has a great show that she was in recently called It's a Mad, Mad, yes. Madge. Wish you could have seen it. It was very good. Um, it'll, it'll happen in the future, I believe. Oh, this amazing. was like the first ever outing of it. Gorgeous. And it, it deserves a life after. Uh, but her mum went. Yeah. And I know her mum, but also her mum is like West End royalty. Yes. Um, And after the show, she was like, oh, I really need a wee. And it took all I could do <laughs> not to say to the second ever person to play Christine in Phantom of the Opera, <laughs> Go Piss Girl. Have we explained Go Piss Girl? If they don't know what Go Piss Girl is, they're on the wrong fucking podcast. Oh no, sorry, I'm getting confused with when I got a bit drunk in Gran Canaria and said, Go Piss Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Not the same thing. No! But... You should say we, Go I Piss went, Bitch. I went. <laughs> you did! Sharp as well! <laughs> Go piss, right bitch. in front of you, to be honest, <laughs> I just pissed myself out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they they put the pictures of Bear and Marigold mm-hmm. up, and they put their honey jumblies in front of them. Oi, oi. right and in front of their salad. <laughs> Bear keeps stealing the honey jumblies, and they keep thinking like he's a filthy Their stuff's thief. getting moved, and like each other is fucking about. <sighs> it's a wicked world of bits. <laughs> <laughs> We need to make another trailer. <laughs> and it's just that. <laughs> it's a wicked world of bits. I'm Rich- not happy about it. <laughs> Richard Scarry's busy world of bits. <laughs> um, the- and then Bear appears as a security guard. Fucking bootlicking Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed up like a little policeman. He's like, I'm here to solve the crime. And I'm like, the crime that you committed? How very apt. This episode is a metaphor for police corruption. It says a lot. Without saying anything, mm-hmm. literally nothing. <laughs> Polka dot short said A cab. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The B in A cab stands for bear. <laughs> All cops are bears. All cops are bears. No. 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 I love bears. Bears are great. Have you seen that albino grizzly? No. He's on TikTok. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> Is he on TikTok, Caitlin? Hang on. Is he tip-tapping away with his little bear hands? <laughs> he literally is on TikTok, but he doesn't have a TikTok account. I no. <laughs> I love a bear. Why are there so little ears? Little, little ears. ears. And, but you can't hug them. No. You cannot hug them or you'll die. <laughs> but it's not fair. Of course, they've got little ears and little, little ears. faces and they love honey. And big, big bodies. A big, big, muscly, chunky boys. Claws and bodies kill Scratch you. Scratch me to death. Yes. And then sing a Phil Collins song. Tell everybody is that your, like, Tinder bio? Or? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, and he says, It just so happens that I specialise in guarding honey jumblies. Coincidence? I think not. And that was his catchphrase. Yeah. He would always say, like, coincidence. I was like, well, it's not, it's not a coincidence, is it? Because you've you've dressed up as a security guard to solve the crime that you've been committed. It's not. It's not literally yeah. not a coincidence. It's, not. it's you fucking about. It is. And I'll tell you what, you're going to find out. Side note, these honey jumblies look awful. Oh, I thought they were quite nice. It's a scone with some like honey. No, a honey scone. Jellies on top. Awesome. Jellies? No, je- um, wine gums. You can get a thing called honey jumbles. I was going to make it, and then I realised I had to go and do a brunch. Um, <laughs> but is a honey jumble a scone with some wine gums? No, on top? it's like a little iced finger biscuit. Oh, 
Oh, those look nice. They do look very nice. Everyone Google honey jumbles. Off you go. One hour and 20 minute prep. Fuck off. Miriam. Who has it? Get on that. <laughs> Miriam, you're catering, all right? <laughs> <laughs> You've been promoted. <laughs> Get whisked, <in>, Miriam. <laughs> go whisk, bitch. <laughs> go whisk, bitch. Oh. Um, it, it, it keeps happening. They keep baking more and like thinking that the other person is <sighs> not doing it right. Yeah. It's a, it's a French farce. It is. And I'm I'm not ho hoing. It's it's a fuck. What was it gonna say? It's a wicked world of bits. <laughs> it is a wicked world of bits. <laughs> the bits they keep coming. The bits keep coming and they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Quite. Fed to the rules and hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they charge. <laughs> he keeps taking the, the, the plates and looks directly down the camera and goes. Forgive me. <laughs> no. No. You've come to the wrong place for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. What do you think we are, the Catholic Church? No. We're Caleb Powell and Kate Butch. <laughs> and we think death to you, bear. Death to bear. Skin death bear. to bear. Just get, if you just get a, a well-placed seam ripper <laughs> and a quick... <laughs> you could you could end that bear. That's a flesh bear. It's got a man inside. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> You can see I Ripper thought, Man. I thought we were entering into the fancy of it. <laughs> a flesh bear. Oh, oh. No, I think that I think we're meant to know that they're toys. Oh. They expect us to believe that we live in a world where a pokeroo can happen. Yeah. Okay. That's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice. It's not. <laughs> not nice. for my poor nerves. My poor nerves. I don't have the constitution to think about a pokeroo in the wild. <laughs> have you it seen just those have forward-facing of... eyes, though. Yeah. Predator. I've never seen Predator. Love Alien. No, I mean it's a, it's a Predator. Oh, I see. Because if you have forward-facing eyes... Oh, yes. You don't have to worry about the... Have you seen kangaroos punching people? I have, and I've seen them kicking people. Yeah. Have you seen a swan break someone's arm? No. I know it's a thing that they can do, though. I think they should do it more. And be filmed so that there's evidence. Yeah, sh- they should get on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, like that bear. Like that bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More animals owning TikToks, please. Yes. Um, so they catch him in the act and they charge after him. They see him licking his wilderness. plates clean and they're like, oh, fair enough. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. To be fair, what were the stakes? What were the stakes? What was the prize? Oh, well, a trophy. Well. It was a trophy. He runs away and he re- reappears as Judge Bear. He's got a lot of costumes. Judge Bear and Executioner. Mr. Ben. <laughs> what? Mr. Ben. Like the it- rice? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the rice? Well, it was FKA Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's. That's... Now it's like Ben's original because, th- yeah. What's Mr. Ben? Mr. Ben is, so he looks like the Home Pride Man. I'm afraid I have another question for you. It's Home Pride Month, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a hat on. Okay. It's an animated TV series drawn by the man who does Elmer. The we there. haven't done Elmer. We haven't. We haven't done Mr. Ben, but, <laughs> but something tells me we fucking won't be. <laughs> and he goes into a, a fancy dress shop. Yes. And as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. And he gives Mr. Ben an outfit and he goes out of a different door and he's in like that world. Uh-huh. So he wears like a caveman outfit. He goes back into prehistoric times. Oh, I see. And there's always an outfit for him. Right. You'd know Mr. Ben. Okay. You, you I, don't know what the fuck i know i don't why do i <laughs> Which get is nothing. my hopes up every damn morning <laughs> and say this is what i want to do i'm holly jervis and my friend caitlin powell knows about 1970s children's tv shows <laughs> i'm just i am my own worst enemy you are in a saboteur i don't get out of bed and go my friend kate bush doesn't know about 1920s abortions we've both got different I things i do <laughs> Mr. Ben gets given a 1920s abortionist <laughs> outfit in one episode. Just with a and coat he hanger. goes and has to do. Yeah. We should. We, just in case people don't know, you are doing a. a oh, PhD. yes. Sorry. I, I think I talk about it enough, don't I? It is your entire personality. Yes. It's got to be. <laughs> just like mine is Mr. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> people think Kate. Neither Bush. one of them is correct. Mr. Ben. <laughs> um, but yeah, we should specify that that's happening. Yes. You're going to be Dr. Caitlin Powell in a second. Not in a, a second. second. Right right now. In a hot minute. <laughs> Soon. You're going to be Dr. Caitlin Powell. Yeah, I have to finish a thesis first. And who am I going to be? Just your friend. Dr. Caitlin Powell and friend. <laughs> et al. I'm going to be et al. Oh, for God's sake. 
people could use this podcast as academic academia mm. they shouldn't they shouldn't if you're listening right do, don't you'll you fucking fail do, you'll fa- <laughs> you're gonna be butch comma kate little miss butch comma kate kate butch sure. But you haven't seen Legally Blonde the Musical. I have not. It's been like two years since we talked about it and I said, Caitlin, watch Legally Blonde the Musical. We'll do that after this. We'll get a takeaway and watch Legally Blonde the Musical. Okay. Or Diana the Musical, pick pick your potato. Well, Diana's coming to London, (gasps) which I sent you and you didn't reply. Because I already knew. Yeah, but you could have gone... No, it's I already really, know. It's really upsetting when you say I already know. There was a TikTok, the, uh, uh, very cool, very young, um, of um, a thing being like, TikTok needs a feature where it notifies people who are about to send you a TikTok that you've already seen yeah. the TikTok. Yeah. I mean, we cross over a lot with cat things we send each other. I'm well into cats now. I don't know what I've become. Yeah. Who am I? But it's fine because Jean seeing a cat twice is not a bad thing. No. Cat me twice. <laughs> Shame on TikTok. W- let's finish this. <laughs> <laughs> finish um, this. <laughs> he comes back as a judge with a massive cup. A trophy. A trophy. Not just a big like, what's sports direct. What's <laughs> inside the massive trophy? A great big pair of polka dot oh. shorts. How did they get there? This, this bear should be on a horny list. Horny kangaroo <sighs> is leaving his smalls. Oh, that's true. It's the everywhere. kangaroos. Pick up your pants. What are you doing in that trophy? It doesn't bear thinking about. No. It doesn't bear thinking <laughs> about. Do you think he's kind of Dieter von Teesing it? <laughs> <laughs> like she doesn't a big martini. Yeah. About. Can someone if someone edit could that? draw a sexy <laughs> picture of Pokeroo <laughs> in a trophy, please do, and then we will report you <laughs> to the police. <laughs> yeah, a cab, but we will report you to the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd love that. If someone can do that, <laughs> show us. The cup says spelling bee winner bear, and they're like, "You fucking flop! You haven't even gone to the engraving shop to get one engraved." Yeah, and then Marigold's like. I don't think there was a Honey Jumblies contest. I think you made it up. Yes, welcome to the point, Marigold. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> These stupid little fruits. Stupid fruits. Stupid fruits. Um, Have we said that on the podcast? That's a thing we call each other. Stupid fruits. Stupid fruits. Uh, um, they, uh, Bear is like, please forgive me. It's the worst thing anyone's ever done. It's really not. You ate some cake. Yeah. And put a I've hat done on. worse. <laughs> With some cake. <laughs> We've done worse on this podcast. Yes. Um, they give him the apology awards, which is the cup again. And he goes, yeah. you like me. You really like me. Again, a gay person wrote this. Yeah. Sally Fields. Although, Bear contributing to the Sally Fields Mandela effect, because she doesn't say that. Does she not? What if you watch the video, she says, you like me right now. You like me. Do, 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 do. Fuck. 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 Miriam. <laughs> Miriam, sort this out. Phone up Sally. <laughs> we know you know her. Oh, she does. Doesn't tell her she? we loved her in eighty for Brady. Tell her I don't know what that is. Don't tell her that. <laughs> She'll hate it. <laughs> tell her we love the flying nun. Tell her I don't know what the flying nun the is. The flying nun was <laughs> Sally Field's big thing in like the sixties. Okay. And she was a nun that could fly. I gathered. <laughs> and she like solved crimes by flying. Can we watch that after this? Yes. Okay. Fantastic news. While playing the Legally Blonde soundtrack. Okay. Just Deal. Sensory overload. <laughs> um, Pokeroo teaches him how to make honey jumblies. Yes. So he teach a man to fish. Teach a bear to make honey jumblies. You won't have to work a day in your life. Yeah. Does a bear make honey jumblies in the woods? Honestly, teach a man to fish and he'll tell you he did it all by himself and not he'll, credit he'll you. He'll take credit, yeah. Yeah. Teach a man to fish and with any luck, he might drown. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, this bear is doing the washing up like that means anything. Oh yeah, that was the that was his penance. Yeah. Was doing the washing up. Oh yeah. And he's like, Oh, I'm doing the washing up. Yeah, like you're not special. <laughs> get a washing machine. Yeah. A oh, dishwasher. It's true. Don't put your dishes in a washing machine because they'll get jumbled around. Put honey jumblies. Dishwasher. Honey jumblies. Mm-hmm. Honey your jumblies along with us. Oh do we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> um and that's the end. Yeah. What did you think? Actually, it was a bit camp, wasn't it? Yeah, not as bad as I thought it not was. Not the worst thing we've watched. I was going to be, I was ready to be furious at you for making us do this. You meaning the listeners who voted in the polls, not... All f- three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know you looked at me and said you. Don't be furious at me, it was the listeners. Um, it is camp and they've got the musical theatre references, they've got the Sally mm. Field references. I maintain Marigold's a fussy queer. Pokeroo's a lesbian. Sure. Uh, Bear's 
A cunt. Yeah. Which Inspo. I mean, <laughs> sooner or later, they'll add a C to the acronym. <laughs> LGBTQIA C. C. The C stands for cunt. I see. And that. Cu- <laughs> that's an umbrella term really for most of us quite frankly yeah um humpty was gay yeah we didn't meet dumpty but we didn't need to i assume it's like it's like those couples on tiktok who are identical oh yeah they're a bit weird uh, bibble is genderqueer obviously it's just it literally i cannot express how much of a just a mop yeah <laughs> on wheels it is someone's got a, a remote controlled mop Same. and to be f- yeah yeah <laughs> that's what i aspire to mm-hmm. eating plants being i've nuisance. started watching I was about what? to say transhuman icon. Um, I've started watching years and years. Uh, yes. Like every episode. Yes. You tell me to listen to years and Sorry, years. Sorry, I just had like years. Ollie Alexander's face just flashed up. In I my made face. that mistake last time and yes. you mocked me. You roundly mocked me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I love pretending that I'm just a gal in the 1930s. It is the dream. Yeah. I love the ones that come in in trousers and are like, I bet money on the ponies. Don't stop me. I'll hit you with my golf club. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ha. Yeah. Um, I will never marry a man. And I won't say why. <laughs> I shan't. No, no, don't make me. Um, I, yeah, something watching years and years. You made it look, sound like it was a grand old time. It's the most traumatising thing I've ever watched in my life. How many episodes are you into it? Four. Is there six episodes? I think so. You're gonna fucking die in the sixth episode. Um, the first episode, you you don't get it because you're watching it like six years later. Yeah. But the first episode, someone's driving down the road and the radio goes, um, "This just in: Doris Day has recently died." When that aired, Doris Day had died that day. No. Yeah. It was intentional. Stop it wasn't it. like a, a thing, but like it was felt so up to the minute. Some of it is like watching it now is interesting because the whole thing is like Ukraine. Ukrainians are coming to the UK. Mm-hmm. It's very. It's if you've not seen it now, it's a good time to watch it because a lot of it is a lot of it is like oh, I didn't get that right, but a lot of it is wow. Have you seen it's a sin yet? No, because I'm. I, I don't You're want to be sad. You're already mired in a lot of. I, I'm doing trauma for a job. Doctor trauma. Doctor Tra- trauma. Paging Doctor trauma. <laughs> Scalpel. Beep. Beep. Couratage. Beep. Speculum. Mm-hmm. What's couratage? The method of abortion from the 1920s. Camp, well, every day's a school day. Yeah. We've learned something new. Scraping. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need all that. No. But uh, <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> I thought this was camp. It was a fabulous was. time. Polka dot shorts. It's rainbow. It's gay. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gay. And they yes. wear ugly pants. Yes. Why is it so many Americans? I'm sorry to go back to Anne just like that. The long pants. The long flowy pants. So inconvenient, Wear a box of briefs, sir. Or a brief. Or a brief. I like a boxer brief. What's the someone. difference? So a brief is like the the one that's just like... Like a bikini. Round, yeah. Yeah. And then a boxer brief round. has legs. Nice. Some of us chafe. Oh. I've got extra long ones because I chafe. I'm wearing cycling shorts right this second. Count. It's changed my life. It's revolutionised my life. I yeah. chafing pants. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Absolutely. Fabulous. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed this, why? Yeah. Are you Okay. <laughs> Um, then you've only got Miriam to blame. Um, yes. You can follow us at Queers Gone By yeah. on everything. I am at the Kate Butch. And I'm a Caitlin Powell. Yay! Yay! Are you that on TikTok as well? Uh, no. You might have to, well, streamline it. I, I, I don't know if, I feel like if you search Caitlin Powell. You'll I'd, find it. I don't know if there are any other significant, oh, significant, oh, look at me! Oh, you've had, you had two <laughs> hit TikToks. <laughs> And you think you're all that and a bag of salad. I did a TikTok about um, sexy fish and shark tail. You did? Yeah. Jumping the gun there. Yeah. Oh, we're revealing. Are we doing that? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Spoiler. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Spoiler alert. The sexy fish and shark tail is sexy. <laughs> a great time for Caitlin. What are we to do? Um, uh, but yeah, I don't think horse girl Caitlin Powell. I don't think journalist Caitlin Powell are on TikTok. Both a pair of flops. I know. Yeah, well, you can follow follow actual Caitlin Powell yeah. on TikTok and all of those. Um, you sh- you know what you should do? You should leave us a review. We haven't had a review oh, in a yeah, while. We haven't had a review. But There's if, so many of you listening. As long <laughs> as it's five stars <laughs> and nice, and you say nice things. If oh you yeah. Say horrible things. Keep it to your fucking self. Especially if it's a three star that reads like a four. Don't bother. Don't bother. Who are you, Chortle? <laughs> I'll say it. Steve Bennett. Steve, is that you, Steve? Steve. Are you listening? 
he's not. Fuck yourself. It's because it's queer stuff he wrote. He's not interested. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't care. I know you don't. I'll burn some bridges. <laughs> Jeff bridges. <laughs> They're not even bridges. Yeah, Neither I know. one of us has crossed them. Uh, I'm talking about me and Steve. I, there's a there's not a bridge between me and Steve. I see. And that th- there'd probably be a toll. To be fair. To cross it. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm keeping quiet. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we'll see you next What's week. What's this issue? I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I've had a I've had a couple of white wines. For instance, because I didn't like the prosecco, and I'm I could I'm I, I'm ready to ruin my chances in the comedy industry before I've even bloody started. Yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Um, we'll see you next week. Oh, what we keep it doing? I can't remember. <laughs> Fuck. All that's in my mind is scraping. <laughs> keep scraping. <laughs> Shall-, Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> it means you can't cut it out. <laughs> we'll see you next week. And until then, keep, keep scraping. Although, absolutely don't. 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 There's better ways. Oh, unless you're getting a smear test, in which case... Get a scraping. Get- yeah. Anyway. Scrape, scrape. Uh, the greatest grape. <laughs> the greatest grape. Awful. Scrapes of wrath. <laughs> Planet of the scrapes. <laughs> Five, four, three. Nah, I win. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>